This plant is called a hydrangea and you can get them in a, um, a variety of colors. And this is going to be the inspiration for our art today. So these are the materials you'll need. Thicker cartridge paper would be better, but it still works on standard paper. You can use, instead of the food dye, you can use um, watercolour if it's in a squeezy bottle, a bit like normal paint. Um, you know, if you have that, that would be better. Um, food dye can get messy. That is why we're outside and we're doing this activity on the grass, not on concrete, but on the grass. So I'll put um, about a teaspoon of dye, maybe a bit less in there. A teaspoon or so of dishwashing liquid and then I add water and I think I should have added I think I ended up doing it later on I think I needed to add a little bit more water because you need a decent amount of mixture to blow into to get results really so we found that when we tilted the glass we had more mixture blow into and that would have and, and that was working better so yeah make sure that it accounts for maybe over a centimetre from the base, whatever the mixture is in there. Then you're going to uh, blow into the mixture with a straw. Do not uh, attempt to drink this. It wouldn't be great. Uh, an important uh, thing to note is that you will need gloves. And I didn't have that on my material list. But uh, if you're using food dye, I reckon use gloves. It can dye your hands quite quickly and make a big mess. So, yeah, try and get um, get your hands on some gloves. So we place the blow blow the bubbles and we place the paper on carefully. Try not to let it touch the jar. That will affect the results, as you can kind of see the rim of the jar on that on that picture there. But man, it was windy. And today was sunny and then it was started raining and um, the red bubbles kept getting blown all over the jar instead of from the top. But the blue worked quite well. Go figure. Maybe it stopped raining. So anyway, gloves, gloves, guys, gloves. The blue worked really quite well under the conditions. Maybe it had a little bit more dishwashing liquid. I'm not really sure why. You could uh, experiment with different colours on one page. Um, you could even do this and then write a letter on top of the um, funky paper. So I looked at the leaves and what shape they were. So what, sorry, I should say once my uh, painting mixture was fully dry, I then looked at the leaves and placed them around in grey lead where I thought they would be uh, fit and look nice. And then I noticed there was zigzag edges of the leaves. So I, then after I got the main shape, I do the zigzagging. When I'm happy with that, I used a dark green pressed quite firmly to outline some of the details on the leaves. I did this with each of the grey lead leaves. And then after that, I lightly coloured the inside in. So you could still see the line work that I did. And this is the result. I think it looks quite pretty so I hope you have fun with this um, you could probably use this technique for other things as well um, a blob blobby coral or something like that and make a bit of a collage anyway hope you have fun and remember gloves and outside on the grass all right see ya